Hey everyone, let's take a look at this last one. So for two events, A and B, we've got the probability of A, the probability of B, and then they're asking us for the probability of A or B. So something that I will always think to myself, I will, anytime I hear or, I know A or B, that is formula one. So that's gonna be the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. Okay, but I know this is what, 0.4? I know this is 0.5, it's this one that I don't know yet. And so let's go see how on earth I'm supposed to parse this out. It says for A, well, maybe this probability is 0.9 if A and B are independent. Well, let's, let's play that out. So if A and B are independent, all right, so I'm gonna do, this is the case where they're independent. Then I can pick up two more things. I can say that the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B, or I could say the probability of A given B is equal to the probability of A, or we could even flip that. We could say the probability of B given A is the probability of B. So those are the formulas that you pick up when events are independent. And if I take a look at what I was missing with my or, I, I need the probability of A and B. Well, according to this, if they're independent, I actually could find it. So let's go find this. The probability of A and B, if they were independent, would be equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. Okay, well, if I roll through that, if A and B are independent, this is going to be 0.4 times 0.5, which is going to be 0.2. So let's see what would happen here. So if they were independent, this would turn into 0.4 plus 0.5 minus 0.2, and that would get me 0.7, right? And if I take a look at that, this answer here was giving me 0.9. So this is not correct. If A and B are independent, then the probability of A or B is actually 0.7, not 0.9. So let me erase all of this, and I'm going to just rule out A. And actually, as I look at it, oh, there's my correct answer, because there's the independent, and there's 0.7. So that's going to be my answer. Now, just to play this out, I want to show you what this would have looked like if they were disjoint, because you see the other option, right, which is saying disjoint. So let's try this if they were disjoint. So if something, or if two events are disjoint, or mutually exclusive, then you know the probability of A and B equals zero. Well, I can sub that in, right? We just found it. Probability of A and B is zero. So this would now turn into 0.4 plus 0.5 minus zero, which is 0.9. So if they're disjoint, this probability is 0.9, right? Not 0.7, incorrect. Not zero, incorrect. So we've got that. All right, so C winds up being our answer. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.